The South Carolina Hall of Fame was founded in Myrtle Beach in 1973 to recognize and honor contemporary and past citizens who have made outstanding contributions to South Carolina's heritage, history, and progress. Born in 1849, Walker Gill Wiley would become famous for making important strides in the field of medicine and introducing hydroelectricity to the Carolinas placing the region on a new industrial path. Dr. Wiley grew up in Chester, South Carolina. He was born just uh, short of the uh, Civil War. In fact, he served in the uh, Confederate Army when he was 16 years old. After the war, Dr. Wiley went to the University of South Carolina and graduated in 1867. He had a brilliant mind and he took every course that was offered, every single course that was offered by the university. Armed with a degree in civil engineering, Walker Gill Wiley's thirst for knowledge would take him to New York's Bellevue Medical College, where he earned a medical degree in 1871. Wiley would blaze new trails in the field of medicine. Today's physicians benefit from the work of Dr. Wiley in several ways. One is the great establishment of hospitals and hospital protocols where we care for our patients. We also benefit from the work that Dr. Wiley did with Dr. Sims to advance surgery. After he completed his medical education, he traveled to Europe where he also corresponded with Florence Nightingale. Some interesting exchanges occurred between the two of them, but he brought back to the United States protocols and procedures for establishing a nursing college, which he did, and then he encouraged women to apply to this so that there would be nurses available to help take care of patients. Dr. Walker Gill Wiley built a prominent reputation as a doctor and surgeon among America's wealthiest families in New York City. He also became interested in the theory of hydroelectric power, turning water into electricity. He shared this idea with one of his patients, tobacco tycoon James Buchanan Duke, in a chance meeting. Mr. Duke had a sore toe. Mr. James Buchanan Duke, they called him Buck, asked Dr. Wiley to come to his house on uh, Fifth Avenue and treat his sore toe. And when um, Dr. Wiley would come over, he would talk about his hydroelectric project in South Carolina. Wiley's idea was a series of dams from Marion, North Carolina to Camden, South Carolina. This fall, an elevation of about 700 feet would generate hydroelectricity, which could be transported on high tension transmission lines. In 1900, this was a revolutionary idea. Electricity brought lights, washing machines, dryers, and eventually air conditioning to the Carolinas and became a valuable resource for industry. It's hard to measure in quantitative terms what that brought about. But if you look at North and South Carolina and visualize the I-85 corridor, that's where more than 55% of the industrial might of North and South Carolina resides. And I think it's a direct result of what Dr. Wiley did in 1904. Dr. Wiley was really a pioneer and a revolutionary pioneer in developing electricity in this country. Dr. Walker Gill Wiley, innovator in the fields of medicine and engineering, died in New York in 1923. He was 74 years old. Marvelous man, should be recognized more. I don't know of a South Carolinian that I have studied about as much as I admire Dr. Wiley.